that was a tough game for us. I think that we didn't come out with the confidence and uh, playing as hard as we needed to in the first half. So I know for us and for my team, that was disappointing. But credit to Louisville. They came out ready to play. They didn't have two of their players, and that didn't they didn't miss a beat just because they played so hard. And uh, we didn't match their physicality in the first half. And then in the second half, I thought we came out uh, in the third quarter a little bit more inspired, but it was just a little too late for us against a great team. So, you know, congratulations to them. And, and hopefully we learn and grow and get better because we have one more regular season game and we want to come out playing well in that last game of the year. Coach, um, you had a hot streak coming into this game and you had a chance for a signature victory here. Right. Uh, you, you talked a little bit about how disappointing it was. Can, you know, do you really consider this a missed opportunity, especially considering Louisville was shorthanded in this? Uh, I, I, no, I don't know if I'd say a missed opportunity as much as, for me, I, I don't care who we're playing on any given night. I want us to play hard and play the brand of basketball that uh, Boston College is, is developing right now, and I didn't see that at all in the first half. I thought in the first half we looked like we were on a different page, both offensively and defensively, and we just didn't play as hard as we've been playing. And you know, when you turn over the ball the way we were doing and then our transition defense looked disjointed, uh, again, credit to Louisville, but I thought we also just didn't play well. And I don't care who we're playing against, I would be disappointed. So missed opportunity, but more so just for us, a missed opportunity to play our brand of basketball. Coach Michaela Dickens came out really strong in the first yes. quarter for you with the three threes uh, earlier against Louisville. So I think she went had five or six against the cards. Uh, let's talk about her her season so far yeah she's doing great and you know she's one of those players when she starts to feel her confidence rise uh, I think she's next to unstoppable but we also you know kind of conserved her in the second half she's you know she's a kid that has been a little bit injured right now so we didn't feel the need to kind of put her back in in the sense that we were down and kind of saving her a little bit for the end of the season just some of your thoughts on Kylie Shook and her performance tonight man she was good and and she she was good on the boards and just really getting in early position to grab uh, offensive and defensive boards. But then I thought she really took her time. Uh, and we even said, you know, our, our game plan was to crowd her a little bit and not give her the opportunities that she had. And that's, again, where it was a little disappointing because we really didn't stick to our game plan to go against her. But she, she played great tonight. Uh, Coach Walls said that, uh, knowing you from his time, your time at Maryland, he uh, said you were a schemer, and he meant that in the positive sense. Yeah. Uh, can you talk about what your strategy was coming into the game tonight? Yeah, it didn't look like I wasn't much of a schemer tonight, I'd say. Uh, we, You know, our strategy was if uh, if five was playing, you know, if Mikasa was playing on the perimeter to kind of help off around her and then make sure that in transition we didn't give them anything, uh, and both of those things didn't really work because I felt like the person that in the first half especially that was guarding, that was supposed to be the quote-unquote help person, was almost like being the break person. We were like taking a break as opposed to being a help person. And then in transition, I just don't think we filtered out. We kept running down the middle of the floor, which allowed them to have the kicks up the sidelines that they wanted. And, and then I thought the way um, – uh, Jasmine Jones came out initially just hitting the pull-up jumper. Uh, you know, her mid-range game is kind of like a layup. <laughs> you know, she, she shoots a pull-up jumper as if it's a layup, and we were letting her get to where she wanted to get to in that first quarter, and I think that kind of just got us a little – I think it just shook our confidence a little bit, to be honest. Coach, with one game left in the regular season, then ACC tournament play, what are some of the things you want to see at how your team closes out the season and goes into tournament – to do I want us to be gritty uh, on the offensive end I want us to kind of have that synergy and work on all cylinders where we share the basketball and we meet passes and and not throw the ball away or look like we've never played offense before I want us to look smooth and on the defensive end you know we always talk about our mentality of acting like we're down two with 40 seconds left whether we're on the offensive end or defensive end and just playing with that kind of uh, IQ to be smart but also take the first available shot or keep the other team from getting an easy shot. So I hope I can see that coming into the end of the season where we kind of – we didn't look gelled at all in this game, which, again, we were coming off a little bit of a streak where I thought we've looked really well. So hopefully we can get it back together, and maybe this is the uh, learning experience we need going down the stretch. Thank you, guys.